Hello everyone, my name is Julian and I'm coming to you today just to talk about my struggles with finding my identity, as you can see I'm sick, but anyways, to the point, um, when I was younger, I used to, I knew I was, I knew I was black, if you want to put it that way, um, I, I just knew it. My mom would always talk about civil rights facts and different things like that. But then, like, when I got older and went to middle school, I just noticed, like, why are people treating me differently than these other people? Like, why? Why don't people accept me for who I am? I'm just black. Like, what's the big deal? So time went on, and I just realized that that's the reason they didn't like me. That's the reason there was always something against me. There was always, that was the reason that I was always being treated different. Um, so I started to just try and be like them. So this is kind of funny now that I'm saying it, but um, I went to, you, every year we had like a biography day and you were dress up as like a historical figure. So typically I would be like an Eddie Robinson, Eddie Robertson, who is like a coach at this HBCU, or it'll be Jackie Robinson, or it'll be Thurgood Marshall, you know. But then this one year, it was eighth grade, I decided that I would be George Bush. See, I know it's pretty far out there, I know it was a lot, but at the time, that's just where my mindset was. So I decided to dress up as him, but then I would get comments for that too. I'm like, dang, I just can't do anything perfect. I noticed teachers would just walk out, the, walked out like the classroom when I was presenting different things. And I'm just like, what is going on? <laughs> you know? And there was nothing really that I could do except to just learn to love myself and learn that I am enough. Like beyond my skin color, I am still a human being and I shouldn't be treated different than anyone else. So I wind up leaving that school and going to the school that I go to now, which is so much better, so much more diverse, so much more caring of just my feelings and my emotions. And I really just appreciate this experience and just trying to find who I truly am and true like and understand that I need to love myself. And I can't do anything in life without loving myself. I love me. I love me. I don't know about you. But baby, I love me.